Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So today I'm going to be reviewing yet another comic book themed storyline here, folks. So yes, of course, it's a DC related animated feature, which I reviewed quite a few of these before, so I just thought, eh, what the hell. I guess it just doesn't hurt nobody, really. But anyway, so something Batman related, obviously. And this one is titled Batman, Mystery of the Batwoman. So yeah, this is the one I'll be talking about. And yes, before anyone says anything, I'm fully aware of the fact that there's been... Yes, there's been a TV show of this character, a live-action show, which has nothing to do with this, by the way. And there's also been a second season as well, which, again, has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, like, at all. But I know there's also been a... A movie, uh, like a action movie, which really has nothing to do with the character, like at all. But does it, it's just there for the namesake, I guess. So there's that. But there's been many variations of the continuity in the comics too, sure. And and I reviewed some of the comics before as well, by the way. And it's, no, it's not connected to this movie either, or none of the iterations I just mentioned a moment ago. This is a completely different Batwoman, really. So I suppose it's its own thing here when it comes to this character really when you think about it and it's kind of funny in the sense that we almost almost had a background movie i mean technically it was made it just wasn't released really so there's that so okay anywho that's kind of confusing anyway of course as always let's talk about the plot shall we so here we go and in case anyone is wondering yes this has something to do with the animated series the new batman adventures which was released in 1994 and through 99 so it has something to do with that animated series so anyway batman and robin pretty much face a new mystery pretty much a brand new mystery and it has something to do with of course this heroine this individual's name batwoman whom has arrived in the city whose identity is a complete secret, is a mystery, obviously hence the title of the film, while she claims to fight for justice, bad woman, for sex, pretty much, Batman's code to never take a life, Batman pretty much must figure out who is she, while stopping Penguin, and another character, of course, from pretty much selling illegal weapons, to the, his nation, so to speak, the two villains pretty much employ this gangster to pretty much have protection. So, yeah, Batman pretty much has his hands full, and things get rather complicated, I guess you would say. So, the thing is that Batman with Robin sets out to stop Batwoman from making any mistakes as he pretty much attempts to take the villains, and as he encounters numerous twists, setbacks, and just a bunch of crazy stuff going on, folks. Let's just say things get pretty insane, uh, obviously, as a, as a way to find out just just who the hell is this person? Who is she? What's going on here? Why? The who, what, when, where, and why, and all that jazz. But pretty much a dark night must content with this mysterious female vengeance auntie who pretty much wants to do her own thing. She's pretty much really worthless, and she's really rough in her own way. In other words... Yeah, things get pretty insane, as you, might, as you might expect, obviously. So, yes, there is this worthless detective vigilante posing as Batwoman is wreaking havoc in Gotham City, as you might expect. While she sets her sights on this penguin evil plans, Batman must ding about on... This thing on discovering this mysterious imposter's true identity. Who is she really? I was asking about a moment ago. But the thing is that things get rather complicated. Let's, let's put it that way, folks. Oh, definitely. But anyway, I definitely can say that it's, of course, it's it's a decent little setup, of course. It's, it's a decent movie, I would say. I mean, there are better Batman movies. This is not a this is not the best Batman movie out there, but it's a solid movie nonetheless. 
it's not as good as it could have been so compared to some of the other animated features that were made over the years. I mean, yes, there were some scenes that did feel like filler, if we'll be honest with you folks. And I never liked Robin to begin with. I do believe Robin to be one of the most annoying characters out there. So he, he kind of tainted it for me as well. But in the grand scheme of things, it, it does it was more right than wrong. Even though Robin comes off rather bland, really. Yeah, there's still plenty to like here, folks. I like the animation. The animation is actually quite nice, really. It's very detailed. Very nice use of color. The music is quite nice. The music does help to create this haunting atmosphere as well. And not, not the music, it never felt out of place, really. Also, I would definitely say that the dialogue isn't too bad. The dialogue is nicely done, of course. And the story itself it does attempt to have this sense of suspense. And in some ways, it succeeds. And there's a sense of mystery and have a good amount of action, obviously. And we still have Batman be this brooding, dark character, which he's known for. So, like I was saying a moment ago, while not perfect by any means, it still does more right than wrong. So, I can't really complain too much, really. This was definitely worth the addition for any fans of The Dark Knight or just fans of DC in general. If you just like DC and you, and you just want to buy anything that's DC related, you just, you just feel like you don't, you're not completed without it, then I would definitely recommend this one. So, anywho, I'll give this an overall rating of a 6.7 out of 10. I give it a 6.7 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Till next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Later.